turned around and I saw this shark like literally three feet away from me. My instincts kicked in first and I heard myself scream but I was also swimming towards the shark as I screamed. And it just became this like mutual respect and this dance that we were doing where she'd come check me out and then I'd say, oh, I want to check you out too. And then she kind of realized that we're both two predators and we just really did start swimming together. That experience with the great white shark was the most intense and yet serene experience I've ever had. The minute we get scared, we panic and that's when everything just goes wrong. And when it comes to a big apex predator like a shark, that's the last thing you want to do. You feel the energy of this creature that's just so massive. It, it was gnarly and I don't think we can ever control wild animals, nor should we, but I think that to be vulnerable enough to let go of fear is always a, a good idea. When I learned to dive, it added such value to my life. And then I just fell in love with it so much that I pursued it completely. I'd say the minute I was able to just go out in the ocean and come home with dinner, the satisfaction that it added to my life was amazing. And the appreciation that I had for the meals that I cooked and shared and ate went beyond anything else. Everything from these single-use plastics to processed foods, you know, we get it so quickly and we don't have to put in the work anymore to get food to our plate to the point where we get to shut off our brains and just be these zombies that just consume. I just um, think something really starts missing in your life when you live like that. The more disconnected we get from the source of our food, the more disconnected we get to the true being of who we are. I think the key to happiness is being able to just embrace your true authentic self and to always be willing to come to terms to that and rediscover that. So much of, of our world, we base it on expectations to let go of those expectations and just be enough with being exactly who you are. I think that's happiness.